the last show of March, and I haven't even gotten a shamrock shake from McDonald's yet. Today's March 29th, day two. I'm Tyson Witten. And I'm Lincoln Cromer with Will Cano willingly in Studio B. I'm Will Cano reporting from Studio B. Our top story today is a very important elective offered here at OJR that not many people know about, the African American Studies course. We sent Gianna Dayuda to give you the rundown on this elective. Hey OJR, I'm Gianna Dayuda reporting for The Power Report. Today I've set out to get some more information on an important elective offered here at the high school, the African American Studies course. Taught by Mr. Ryan Howard, African American Studies consists of two semester length courses. The classes go into further detail about the lives and history of African American people and the issues they're faced with today. In a world where racism is still incredibly prevalent, courses like these are crucial to creating a more inclusive and understanding environment for everyone. I'm here with Lily Heckler and Sydney Trapp, two students in the class. I'm here with Liam Harrington and Damian Walls, two other students in the class. So um, what do you guys learn about in this class? We learn about Africans and their migration throughout history and how they've developed into such uh, rich and powerful individuals in the United States. And we're, we start at the beginning of history. Right now we're in the, the 1920s era and we're going to go all the way to like current time 2022 at the end of the course. Um, we learn about like any other history class. We mainly just like learn about African American history instead. Yeah, so uh, what made you guys want to take the class? I mean, we really just like Howard as a teacher and I love history as a student as well. So both of those reasons mainly. So I actually took this class on a whim. I didn't really know much about it. Sydney told me that I should take it. Uh, and it's ended up being one of my favorite courses and something that I really look forward to throughout the school day. And um, I'm African American. And when I was looking for um, electives to take at the end of my junior year, I was like, I want to take something that's kind of serious, but also that'll be fun. And I knew that this class would be fun and it would help me like, learn about my history and things I didn't even know about five months ago. Yeah, for sure. Uh, why would you guys recommend this class to other people? Uh, because it really gives a new perspective on history and it's a, a new take on all of the old courses that we've taken and it really tells you more about these rich stories that you would have never known about before. And it's fun. It's definitely a safe space to like learn about um, African American history. There's no pressure or anything. It's a really good class to take. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun and uh, it's like a different lens to learn about history, especially U.S. history. It's not too late to add this course to your schedule for next year. This class is in danger of being removed from the curriculum due to lack of enrollment, so if you're interested, make sure you're enrolled. This is Gianna Dayudo reporting for the Power Report. Have a great day, OJR. Thanks, Gianna, for the information on this elective that deserves to be saved. It's the weather court forecast from Will Cano. It's more than just a promise, it's a fact. Good morning, ONJ, and man, it has been cold. This morning, we had a wind chill of seven degrees Fahrenheit, and across the entire state of Pennsylvania, the temperatures have been 25 degrees below average yesterday and today. So that's what you can see by all the purple on this graph. So it's been feeling a lot like winter, and while it won't stay that way the whole week, we will have it for a couple more days. Today, we'll only get to a chilly high of about 42 degrees, so even though it'll be sunny, it won't be feeling that warm. Now, Wednesday, we'll be getting closer to 50. However, we could start the day off with snow showers. That's right, snow showers. So be prepared for some wintry weather Wednesday morning before we start our warm up. And speaking of the warm up, on Thursday we will have a crazy turnaround to 70 degree temperatures and even thunderstorms in the afternoon, some of which may be severe. So make sure to have alerts on for your phone for any severe thunderstorm warnings or anything like that that may come about. Now I wanted to touch on the temperature Thursday with this graphic. It's the same one that I showed in the first slide. However, what these grays are representing are temperatures 20 degrees above average this time across the region. So again, crazy turnaround in temperatures. Now finally, I want to touch on the weekend where we will have weather that mellows out much more. We'll be having sun and clouds all three days with temperatures in the mid 50s. So we'll definitely be leaning away from those extremes. Back to you, Lincoln. And with our weekly fix of the weather forecast, that concludes our show. Wait, wait, this just in. Mr. Sponagle is starring in G.I. Jane 2. Congrats, Mr. Sponagle. Oh, hey, Luca, what's up, man? Keep his name out of your mouth!